Hi everyone, in this video we're discussing how I made close to 40 lakh rupees or around $15,000 working at Upwork. I'll be showing the actual messages of how I negotiated with clients, kaise kaise conversations usually hoti hai, how sometimes you get undercut, how sometimes you don't get paid and when you get paid, sometimes you get paid really big. I'll be showing the three stages that come up in an Upwork journey. The first stage being you not getting any projects. The second stage being you getting some projects but still underpricing yourself. And finally the third stage, when I became a top rated plus developer on Upwork, which is basically the best rank that you can get how my journey changed and how the clients that i got changed over this journey of around six to eight months with that let's get right into the video so this is my upwork profile as you can see i've basically mentioned my rate here back then i used to charge 90 dollars an hour uh, thoda kam hi tha. this was finally i raised my rate a little i don't think i ever got hired at such a high rate um, this is a brief about me and i don't think people read this much um, and finally, the important things on the left include $50,000, which is close to what I earned. Uh, I did a total of eight jobs and 96 hours. You thought some misleading. I did not actually work only 96 hours for these $50,000. Uh, there are two types of contracts on Upwork. Ek hourly hota and ek thoda longer term hota hai. So this is only the hourly contracts and the number of hours I spent on them. Uh, the important thing is here on the right, which are the projects that I did. Some of these are like still in progress and by that it just means that the contract hasn't been closed i mean with the company can pay for like a few years and these are the other set of projects that i sort of worked on so as you can see they're like they start from very small they're like as low as 75 dollars um but that's how you sort of work on upwork i think before i start i should probably uh share a little on how you work on upwork and how you get kicks so after you sign up uh, you sort of see this page of gigs that are currently present you can choose to apply onto these gigs, but you first have to buy something called as credits. Credits as a talent, you have to buy them so that you don't sort of spam every project that's out there. They're not very expensive, but thoda so you'll have to pay initially to start your journey. On the left, there are projects. When you click on a project, you can sort of apply to it. And if the other party likes you, they'll reach out and then they'll eventually land in your messages inbox. So let's go straight here. Uh, I'll start from the very end. So let's discuss the first stage I was talking about. The first stage is when you're just starting out, the most probably your profile is completely empty. So one, not a lot of people will reach out to you. Two, the people that do reach out will underprice you and sort of uh, either waste your time or basically try to get their work done in the least amount possible. It's part of the game. So it's may you can't really do much. As you can see from my messages, initially I was sort of adamant on my price. In this specific message uh, thread, I sort of pitched the price of $200 and they said this shouldn't take this much. And then I sort of said, okay, that's fine. I can't do it. Same thing happened here where I pitched $1250, which was apparently uh, very high for this client. So after three or four message exchanges, I realized um, if you want to get your profile noticed, uh, I will have to start slow. And that's what I did here. So react thoda baat mujhe aata tha. And uh, this guy was looking for a basic landing page for their startup. So this was, uh, I had a design. I just had to copy it in React and they sort of paid me $500 for it. Um, so this was my very first contract that I actually got paid for. And if you go to my profile, this project is, it's basically two projects that this guy gave me. Um, the first one was around uh, on React. The second one was also React, but this one actually involved me working on their app versus this was just their landing page. And here maybe you will see eventually they ran out of budget very quickly. So $500 made, they were like, this is too much for us to spend. We'll probably do this in-house. And this is also something that will happen initially because a lot of these are like individual people who are just getting a small task done here and there. So they don't want to pay like above a certain uh, pay grade. So in this case, made, this guy was like, uh, Let's, let's end the contract here, uh, which is fine. This sort of happens. And as you can see in the end, I sort of told them I can bring my hourly down if it helps with their budgets, but they did not respond. Um, so it's common. It'll happen. Um, initially, it's, not, it's sort of part of the game. So the good thing is that at least my profile got two five-star ratings, which is good um, because whenever someone lands on your Upwork profile, if your profile is completely empty, it's a very big red flag. But here, at least my profile had something and this guy was kind enough to give me like five stars twice. So the next thing was this $75 gig, which was basically this guy was giving out trials to a bunch of freelancers. And then finally, they sort of went with that guy. So this was followed by a bunch of small gigs of like $75, uh, 
think there was another one yeah 622 dollars these are like basic typescript notes or react applications and then eventually i met this guy called kevin this was my first longer term project ye mil jata hai to life thodi aasan hone lag jati hai because it's around that this time that you sort of have stable source of income so this guy was making a full stack chat application kind of thing uh, and one bad thing about this project was this project was already built by a bunch of freelancers तो फिलानसिंग में यूजली द कोड दैट पीपल हैव रिटन इज रियली बैड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम इट्स कोड रिटन फ्राम सम एजेंसी इन इंडिया और बांग्लादेश कभी भी बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस कहीं फॉलो नहीं होती है इसमें सो यू सॉट ऑफ हैव टू स्क्रैम्बल टू अंडरस्टैंड वट दी अदर पर्सन हैज रिटन एंड दैट वॉज द केस इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट इट वॉज रियली पुअरली रिटन और उसकी वजह से बहुत ज़्यादा बग्स आ गए थे सो माई इनिशियल प्रोजेक्ट वॉज जस्ट टू सॉट ऑफ क्लीन अप द बग एनी वेज या आई पिस्टम लाइक अ स्मॉलर प्रोजेक्ट एंड या दिस गाइज लाइक द एप्लीकेशन इज अबाउट फिफ्टी परसेंट बिल्ट दैट वॉज नॉट द केस वज लाइक वेरली बिल्ट इट वज लाइक वेरी पुअरली बिल्ट मे बी इट वॉज फिफ्टी परसेंट बिल्ट बट इट वॉज लाइक रियली बैड एंड इसने मुझे बंच ऑफ टास्क दिए लाइक फिफ्टीन टास्क एंड द बजट वॉज ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड डॉलर्स दीज वर अलॉट ऑफ टास्क फॉर ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड डॉलर्स बट इनिशियली जस्ट सो दैट आई कुड गेट हिम एज अ लॉन्ग टर्म क्लाइंट आई अग्रीड टू दिस प्राइस एंड सॉट ऑफ बिल्ट ऑल ऑफ दीज फिफ्टीन टास्क फॉर ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड डॉलर्स सो दिस हेल्प मी इन अ फ्यू थिंग्स वन एक बड़ा क्लाइंट मिल गया था एंड अ बिग सॉट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑन योर प्रोफाइल हेल्प अ लॉट टू आई गोट अ लॉन्गर टर्म क्लाइंट वैन आई फिनिश दीज फिफ्टीन टास्क फॉर हम ही वॉज वेरी हैप्पी एंड दैन उसको ये प्रोजेक्ट कंटिन्यू करना ही था लॉन्ग टर्म ही सॉट ऑफ हायर मी फुल टाइम कह सकते हो ऐसा फॉर लाइक अ मंथ और टू एंड आई सॉट ऑफ हैड ऑल ऑफ दिस अर्निंग फ्लो थ्रू अप वर्क तो मैं अपर्क प्रोफाइल सॉट ऑफ ऑल्सो स्टार्ट टू गेट थोड़ा थोड़ा ऊपर एंड वन थिंग दैट विल वेरी कॉमनली हैपन विच दिस का सजेस्टेड और फ्यू अदर सजेस्टेड वॉज के प्लेटफॉर्म से बाहर आ जाओ एंड सॉट ऑफ वी कैन पॉकेट द डिफरेंस जो अपवर्क खाता है थिंग अबाउट अपवर्क इज दे डोंट चार्ज टू मच दे चार्ज लाइक टेन परसेंट अप अंटिल अ थ्रेश होल्ड और उसके बाद पाँच परसेंट एंड फॉर दैट दे गिव यू लाइक थिंग्स लाइक एस्क्रो एंड दे सॉट ऑफ ट्रांसफर मनी डायरेक्टली इंटर बैंक अकाउंट सो द इट्स नॉट वर्थ गोइंग ऑफ ऑफ द प्लेटफॉर्म बिकॉज इफ दे फाइंड आउट इट सॉट ऑफ गेट बैंड तो सारी अपॉर्चुनिटी एकदम बंद हो जाएगी एंड दे सॉट ऑफ इट्स वेरी हार्ड टू गेट बैक इन वॉन्स यूर बैंड तो आई वुडेंट रेकमेंड एट ऑल गोइंग out of the platform uh, to sort of save on 2 to 3% because most probably i've seen whenever someone suggests this as a client they're like they will save more than you will so it doesn't it's it's not worth it and they don't have any risk they can just create a new profile and sort of pitch another project but you as a talent will lose all your all the things that you have in your profile and also it will be very hard for you to get back in so so don't do it um so by the end of this project as i was like ha this person sort of started to get a lot of other indian developers there are a lot of developers on on upwork so people started under pricing me uh, i sort of stuck to my price of i think back then it was 30 or 40 dollars an hour and uh, eventually this guy sort of moved on with other clients and i moved on to other projects um iske baad i think one big project was this one week project i did yeah, this was 57 hours that i built completely in one week because they he, these guys just came to the platform upwork inko bahut jaldi startup khatam apna khada karna tha it was like a covid specific startup so they were very short on the timeline so as you can see this is like 3 days here but it was like close to 5 days that i worked for them and they were like overworking me bahut acche se matlab bahut zyada kaam kiya tha yahan pe i remember it was like a very i did not sleep that week and then finally friday ko i sort of built them for 57 hours and this was like a decent amount of money to make like in a in a week or like 5 days um so this will also happen on upwork very erratically uh, some very big project might come your way and one good thing that happened here that was super helpful to me in getting other jobs even out of upwork was that he mentioned that i work us hours which is true but it's very hard for you to sort of uh, convince a us person ki ha tum us hours mein kaam karte ho because so many so it's like very counterintuitive uh, for someone to sort of don't go like that in jhoot bol raha but i i sort of like working late and these people from were from the us i i worked sort of uh, in their time zone and he mentioned this on my profile to कल को मुझे बाहर भी अपक्ष काम करना होता था आई यूज टू जस्ट पॉइंट पीपल टू दिस रिव्यू के आई एक्चुअली वर्क यू एस हावर सो दैट वॉज सुपर हेल्पफुल इसके बाद एक ये प्रोजेक्ट था विच वॉज वियर्ड बिकॉज दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ गिव मी एन इनिशियल प्रोजेक्ट जो मैंने बहुत जल्दी कर दिया था एंड आई सॉट ऑफ पॉकेट इट अराउंड ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड डॉलर्स फ्रॉम इट एंड देन दे गेम यू लॉन्गर टर्म प्रोजेक्ट उसके बाद विच वॉज सुपर टीडियस एंड देन वो खत्म ही नहीं हुआ एंड देन दिस सॉट ऑफ री फंडेड द मनी दैट दैट दिस सॉट ऑफ सेंट मी एज वेल मुझे सिर्फ एक महीने एक वीक के पैसे मिले थे इसके बाद बेसिकली आई वॉज सॉट ऑफ रेडी टू मूव ऑफ ऑफ द प्लेटफॉर्म बट जस्ट बिफोर आई डेट दैट आई सॉट ऑफ फ्रॉम दिस अदर कंपनी ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म एंड दिस वॉज अ बिगर कंपनी दीज आर हार्डर टू फाइंड बट इफ यूर प्रोफाइल गेट्स नोटिस इफ यूर प्रोफाइल गेट्स above a certain threshold in this case i think maine around 10000 dollars kama liye the and i was five uh, rated five star on every uh, project other than this one only that in the end sort of screwed me so my profile sort of got uplifted
so then this company reached out they were sort of offering i think eight thousand dollars a month or something like that it was like a full time 40 hours a week gig i ended up working here for much longer after five months they sort of bought me off of upwork and i worked with them outside of upwork but legally like they bought me off of upwork they paid upwork ten thousand dollars so that they don't have to pay like the extra difference that they used to pay every month and this is like my longest project and the project that i made the most money on for the first five months it was super helpful for me to get paid via upwork because one my profile was getting boosted two every month i would get like a five star rating from them so um it was it was great until uh, sort of it became expensive for them and they sort of moved me off of upwork so this was i think pretty much it as you can see here um initially it will be very difficult like you get weird messages and weird clients sometimes you don't get paid sometimes this guy for example i remember um sort of took a lot of knowledge from me about basic basic cheese thodi advanced cheese unhone mujhse puch liye and then finally did not end up hiring just wanted to maybe check case certain field mein cheeze kaise hoti hain so it's like part of the game uh, if you're choosing or uh, to become a remote developer or a freelancer this sort of will happen um now when you're doing a full time job things are slightly easier uh, it's like a completely different game i think i've done full time jobs as well and the polite way of saying this is wahan pe tumhare dimag pe stress thoda kam rehta hai because you don't you're not scrambling to make money every day but if this is a field that you choose to get into eventually you will have to learn how to talk to clients and this is a good skill to have generally as well even if you're in a full time job in a company Uh, to learn to sort of take hits and start from scratch and, and negotiate your way up so main to ye suggest karunga ke upwork is a decent platform to kick things off from um ek bar you get the hang of working remotely or working with clients in the us and sort of understand the game it will become easier for you to work even off of upwork uh, and when i started off this was like the only pro- place i could get clients from and then eventually more avenues opened up so if you're just starting out i would strongly suggest to stay in the game like at least start buy a few connects and uh, start pitching for projects and then eventually in a month or two if does if things don't work out then it's a different thing but i think if you underprice yourself initially get your profile out there it can have uh, exponential returns if you crack a bigger client eventually so that will be my two cents if you have more questions post them below and i will probably release another video um on more platforms that i know of sort of platforms that i moved to from upwork and how i uh, started independently approaching clients as well so if you're looking for that video let me know in the comments and i will see you in the next one